In this video, we're going to take a look at finding the absolute value on the TI-83 Plus and the TI-84 series of calculators. Now, it's fairly simple, so we're just going to concentrate on the home screen, screen for right now. If you have to find the absolute value of, say, x when it, the absolute value of x is equal to 7, that's going to take some graphing. And so if you're not there yet, don't worry about it. I'll have that in a different video. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my calculator here, and I just want to find the absolute value of negative 3. You might know that right off the top of your head that the absolute value of negative 3 is in fact 3 because the absolute value stands for the distance between the number inside and 0. And you take three steps in order to get three from ne or 0 from negative 3. But if you want to do it in the calculator just because, then you could do so using the math button. So you press math, it opens up a set of uh, menus, and you scroll over to num, which stands for number, and this is where all of the stuff that you might want to use on numbers would go. And the very first one, ABS, stands for absolute value. So we're going to press enter to activate that, then we're just going to put in negative 3. Now don't forget, negative is down here right next to the enter button, not one of the blue buttons. So negative 3. Close the parentheses, always a good idea, even though it might not always be necessary. Press enter, and we get the answer of 3. And so you can use this to check yourself if you're really not sure, should I change the sign or should I not? Uh, a very common mistake that I've seen in students in the past is simply that when they, they get this idea that it's just switch the sign, and it's not just switch the sign, as we'll see in this next one. So in this next example, we want to take the absolute value of 8. And so we ask ourselves, well, how far away is 8 from 0? Well, <laughs> well, it could be 8, but man, do, you, do I switch the sign or not? Well, let's check. So we press the math button. That gives us over here to our little uh, set of menus. We scroll over to num or number. We press enter for absolute value. Or you can press the number 1, and it'll enter absolute value directly on the screen. And we put in 8, close the parentheses, and hit enter. And we get 8. And so our answer is 8, so we don't switch the sign. Oh, that's a good idea. All right. That's how you find absolute value on your TI-83 Plus or TI-84 series of calculators.